one. Hi, Lee. Hey, David. Hi, everyone. We are back. We had a little downtime just because of holidays and travel and all that fun stuff. Did you have good holiday season? I did. Our favorite part of the holidays was going to Universal Studios for New Year's Eve, and we got to wear tank tops because New Year's in LA is 75 degrees. That's awesome. And yep. I'm on the other coast just recovering from a snowstorm. So, fun times. You have double digit or single digit weather as we have triple digit weather. Yeah. Yay. But anyway, <laughs> and it has been the most eventful month and a half for both of us. We've been both crafting and moving along with our projects. Um, I think you have, you've done some spinning. I have done spinning and I have finished spinning. Ooh, so, I'm excited. So the fiber was, I don't know if you're seeing this yeah. into the world, the name of uh, the company. It was wonderful to spin with and I succeeded in 200 yards of DK weight to fly. That's awesome. It you end up in your hands once I send it off today. And uh, I had about 100 yards of singles okay. left over. Well, you'll get to play with that. I'm excited. And I have a spinning project. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I'm New Year maybe who knows. But when you next see that yarn, it will be at David's house and he will try to make something out of it. Yeah, I'm excited to be on two reasons. One, you finished your project, which is always exciting. Yeah. And two, this is the first cross-country yarn project that we'll be able to do. Um, yep. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions in the comments on what I should bake with this, because I'm, I haven't come up with anything yet. So I'm sure once I actually get it, um, I'll figure something out. So, but... I'm excited. It looks really good. It looks great. I um, there'll be more pictures of it, I'm sure, on your end and on my end through social media and all that kind of stuff. But it's going to yep. be good. It is your hand spun to play with. Excellent. Do you, do you have your next spinning idea yet or do you know what you're going to spin next? I am going to take something out of the fiber closet and see what it wants to be. Okay. Okay. Just, I... Yeah, but there will be more. All right. I just I have been enough for a blanket. Okay. Are you just going to, like, close your eyes and pick something? Yeah, basically. Whatever falls on my feet the second I open the closet is what gets done next. I still love the fact that, I, like, I just have the image of you opening, literally opening the door and it's just, like, this cave of yarn and fiber. It's like, okay, that one. Pretty much. Pretty much. That works for me, so, I mean. You have goals for 2018. Yes, like, I, kinda, um, I just started a blanket, like, another blanket, and I was thinking to myself, I actually haven't tracked how much yarn I use in a year. So, this year is going to be the yarn of yarn tracking. So, it's going to be two, twofold. Uh, one, I'm actually going to start saving my labels and trying to have, like, a big old bag of labels um, of what I've used in the past year. Um, I've had, I had a couple recommendations of making, like, a collage of it at the end of the year, which I may or may not do, depending on my motivation. But also, the other thing is actually a digital form of, someone suggested the site called Knit Meter, and K-N-I-T-M-E-T-E-R dot com. And it actually, okay. um, you put in the projects and it actually tallies how much you, like, how much you knit. So, like, it calculates the yardage, um, and you can do it in, like, feet, yards, meters, um, and you can kind of track how much you use. So, like, that's how I'm going to get my total total number for the, at the end of the year. So, I'm kind of interested to see what I end up with. Um, I, I think we we were talking before. I think you mentioned, what, 10,000? I think 10,000 is the minimum. I'm going to put a guess now of 
13,200 yards. Okay. 13,200 yards. Um, my guess, I, this may be a little auspicious for me, but I think I'm going to go a little bit higher, and I'm going to do, like, 15,000. I'm very excited. Um, I will I, I will keep you posted, and I will try and... Um, I know you, there's, like, a meet... Um, you can post, like, the up-to-date meter somewhere. I'll try, see if I can put it on my Facebook page or something. Or somehow I can share it in. We'll see what happens because um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, um, I'm throwing off the year with a blanket. A nice kind of bright pink blanket. So I'm doing it on kind of... Thank you. Uh, but I'm also doing it on nice thick needles so that way it's just kind of a quicker net so it's gonna be fun uh yeah i'm throwing the year off with a blanket on my as like auspicious knitting expedition so it's gonna be fun i believe in you and i'm very excited to hear more about your progress each time we podcast uh, absolutely that that as i as i will be waiting for spinning updates you will be waiting for yardage updates to see kind of where i I end up, so... Um. I will start spinning follow-up project this weekend. That will be my next thing. Sounds good. I mean, and also I might do a poll in, like, Facebook or something on what I should make with your yarn. Yeah, do it. I would love to have uh, my hand spun be used by anyone ever. <laughs> because, like, uh, you mentioned to me before that, like, you have the knack, you have the habit of doing the spinning but not using the yarn. It goes in a cubby, and then never comes out of the cubby. We need to fix that. We need to remedy that. We'll get there. We'll get there. Once I see you make something out of it, then I'll feel like it's possible. Okay. Uh, I'm okay being used for motivation. Yep, you will be the motivation. What are friends for, you know, motivation? (laughs) Yes, yes. I will motivate you to knit more, and we will add to your yardage for free by me sending you out hand spun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be so excited for it. I, I think it'll be a good time. Yeah. Sounds good. I think this will be a good place to spar- stop for the first podcast of the new year. Bye. Bye.